Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is going to be uh, another short video, I think, about uh, the current world events, the things that are coming up. Uh, remember, uh, when it came to the start of the pandemic, of course, you were watching the news. If you were watching the news, you had some idea. You were getting prepared. Uh, you were getting your toilet paper before everybody ran out and got it. And, and that sounds funny, uh, but that's uh, the absolute truth. Uh, I was getting toilet paper before there was a big run on it because we saw it happening. Um, and uh, and now what we see is, uh, you know, potential bio-warfare. Is that the next thing? Is it going to be a pandemic uh, included with uh, effectively World War III? Well, this is an article from the GateStoneInstitute.org. And China is weaponizing Ebola, 90% um, fatal Ebola. This is what is uh, potentially coming down the pipe. Now, likewise, you know that bird flu is also on the radar, so something to pay attention to. Uh, you know, go Google these things, find out what the best natural um, resources are uh, to address these sorts of things. And you know what? God, in his creation, he created plants and animals and herbs and, and all sorts of things around where you are, uh, and they're always available uh, to deal with whatever... Uh, disease is coming. You just need to have that knowledge and be aware of it. Uh, when Adam and Eve lived in the garden, they likely had all the knowledge of all the medicinal plants and they knew exactly what they needed um, uh, to heal their body. Uh, and, uh, and likewise it is now. Uh, you know, the plants uh, uh, aren't giving up their strength. The earth isn't giving up its strength like it once was. But God always uh, provides. And if you are paying attention and you learn uh, then um, you'll find um, stuff to heal the body as well. Just like it was in the beginning of the pandemic, there was lots of natural resources. You know what I'm, know what I'm talking about. Uh, IVR, uh, for instance, um, and uh, a bunch of other you know natural methods to um, fend off the current thing. So bird flu is the next thing coming. And uh, with bird flu, of course, they're culling uh, millions and millions of chickens, but uh, there's also... Uh, mysterious fires happening. This has been happening for the last two years. Mysterious fires killing millions of chickens uh, in the in these massive plants where there's like just uh, you know rows and rows and and uh, and levels of uh, chickens for eggs egg, pr egg production. And this was in this one was in Illinois, so southern Illinois. Uh, more than two dozen departments assisted putting out the blaze, but one million chickens are dead. And of course, this is just a coincidence. You know, someone made a mistake. This is not a cyber attack. This is not asymmetric uh, warfare, uh, of course, right? Pay attention, eyes wide open when you read these stories. This is, I'll go down here. I'll make that like that. This is warnings 247. The United States prepares obsolete minimum three ICBMs. Pentagon simulation shows 90 million Americans dead in 20 minutes this is this is if nuclear war breaks out and uh, they're, they're trying to launch these they're t doing test launches of these uh minuteman uh, three icbms and i think the first couple uh attempts to test these which you know they haven't really tested uh many uh in in decades even first couple attempts failed uh, so is you know the nuclear deterrent of the united states does it even work it's decades and decades old um old technology old machinery that's you know rusting and and falling apart and getting eaten by rats and mice and whatever it may be and this is failing and uh, if this fails you know uh, Russia has been building their nuclear forces for many many years so wake up pay attention the US may not be as advanced as you think they are um, you know I hope they are um, but it seems like certainly these Minutemen missiles uh, ICBMs are not doing so and of course with this uh, news of you know it, uh, the U.S. is the American uh, nuclear deterrence and strategic force. You have uh, a World War III watch. Kremlin warns U.S. of fatal consequences as Biden greenlights missile strikes on Russian mainland. So you've heard this in other channels. Uh, you've heard this in past videos. Uh, but they are now, uh, you know, telling Ukraine, go ahead, hit, uh, you know, the Russian land proper. And as NATO and American weapons hit Russia, Russia's land, um, then it's fair game in terms of, you know, the rules of war. You know, I'm doing air quotes. The rules of warfare um, 
you know, Russia is going to go after not only the person shooting the weapon, uh, but also, you know, the ammunition, the supply lines. This is world. This is, you know, how to uh, conduct World War, uh, you know, 1.0. You go after the supply lines, the pl supply chains of the uh, the combatant of the enemy. Uh, so you starve their front lines of any ammunition and any new technology, any replacement uh, weapons of war. This is basic stuff, and so obviously this is what Russia is going to do. They said they were going to do they were going to do it, and uh, and you know it's all out uh, at this point. So have many red lines been crossed? Many have, and uh, I think Russia is. You know, I'm not sure what they're waiting for. Um, I'm sure they've got a timeline in mind, um, but it's coming down the pipe. You need to be prepared. Um, I think we're at a very, very serious point. I'll agree with some other preppers where, the, you know, the chatter, the news, uh, the threats, the rhetoric is just amping up so much now that uh, all I can say is I don't know what's going to happen or when. All I know is that you need to be ready now. And there's not much time left um, because this could go down at any time. Remember, when they say, you know, world war or war with Russia is two years out, you know, they're not going to tell you exactly when this is going to happen. If they're saying it's two years out, it's probably one year out. If someone is saying it's one year out, it's probably six months out, right? Um, if if uh, uh, weapons of war and aircraft are, are to be delivered uh, a year from now, they're likely scheduled to be delivered nine months from now, and so on. I think you get the picture. They're not going to detail and show their hand about when they're going to be, be ready for World War III. When you know, while they, I think it's was it Britain or Poland or whatever, saying that you know well, we're getting ready for war with Russia. You know, in a couple of years. Well, they're not going to telegraph that to Russia because then Russia would attack them now, knowing that they're not ready. No, they're they're probably ready now, uh, or at least a lot sooner um, than two years, and that could mean it could go down any at any point. And that language is just to make it uh, digestible for uh, the population to say, "Oh, it's two years out, not a big deal." You know, I've been told about it. Okay, uh, now it's not news to me that their World War Three is coming, but I know that it's two years out. Well, no. The next step is to say, okay, well, now it's you know a year out. Now it's six months out. Uh, you know, within the span of a couple of weeks. Um, nope. Uh, uh, you know, Russia's moved up, and and the the boogeyman has moved, and uh, now we're in World War Three. So, folks, I think the truth is that we are indeed in World War Three. They are getting troops. They are moving troops um, across the pond. And you watch uh, Monkey Works there on YouTube, and he shows all the troops, uh, you know, moving across the pond, all the fighter jets, all the air refuelers. Um, from that point of view, that strategic uh, information tells us that, indeed, they are um, very, very quickly getting uh, ready for what could potentially be war this summer, even this month. And if Russia sees that happening, and you know they do, you know that you know they see that those actions taking place, then they're going to strike even earlier. Because no country wants to be the last to strike. They want to be the first to throw the, hopefully, the knockout punch. Um, and uh, so now it's just a matter of, you know, who's going to throw that first punch. And uh, if Russia wants to, um, you know, uh, win in this war, they may have to strike first. And that, that preemptive strike, that is the real question there. So you need to be prepared now because I think um, things are going to be in very, very short supply. Once it starts, supply chains will be broken. You won't be able to buy anything. If, if there is anything to buy, it's going to be very, very expensive. And there's going to be a lot of people with a lot of mental health issues, to be honest, and looking for and going crazy um, and, uh, you know, being desperate. And, you know, now is the time to use the brain that God gave you. Um, get the resources, uh, you know, to plant a garden, to protect yourself. Um, to uh, f provide food for your family for a month, two months, you know, whatever it may be. Um, you do what you can with what you have. Um, but uh, times, uh, t t the time is short, I guess. I'll say that and I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.